It's worth remembering on a freezing cold day like this that over a million homes in London aren't properly insulated. That means a huge number of Londoners shivering away each winter because their homes don't have the insulation they need. Both the Mayor and the Government say they want to tackle this problem. And three years ago, I chaired a London Assembly investigation into why London was lagging behind in terms of home insulation. We found that the energy companies were unwilling to put the money into London and London was missing out on the funding it should have to get our homes insulated. They were finding it easier to invest in those places like Kent where there are large suburbs of very similar housing rather than in London with its complicated jumble of different sorts of homes. One solution that we looked at was to send teams door to door, street by street, instead of just waiting for the sales calls from keen Londoners. These teams could help you install easy measures while they're in your home and then arrange for loft and cavity wall insulation if you need it. The Mayor took our ideas on board and launched his project called Renew. They've already visited 8,000 homes and plan to reach a million over the next five years. These are some of the measures that they can do. Low energy light bulbs, an energy monitor that helps you track your usage and spot appliances running your bills up, draft proofing to keep the cold out, and seven other simple ideas to make your home more efficient. The scheme has worked brilliantly for those homes with cavity walls and with lofts that can be insulated. But the homes behind me have solid walls, making them much more difficult to insulate. Also, many roofs in London are much harder to access. So we have got some real hard-to-treat homes which are expensive to insulate and much more difficult. In some parts of London, over two-thirds of the homes can be so-called hard-to-treat. No wonder London is lagging behind. To solve this, environmentalists, insulation companies and the government have been working on a deal called Pay As You Save, which the government is now calling the Green Deal. The idea is to offer you a low-cost loan for the expensive refurbishment and then to spread it over 10 to 25 years. Over the years, the money you save on your energy bills would repay the loan and you get a warmer house for free. If you moved out, the person moving in would simply take over the repayments so you're not tied down to it. Here in Sutton, they're trying some of these ideas out, so I'm just going to have a look. Hi, OK, Carl, yeah, hi. So I'm here in Sutton with Joanna and Carl. Joanna, tell us a bit about what's going on here. All right, so this house is getting the full works in terms of a retrofit programme. Um, we're going to be putting lots of insulation in, so under the floors, in the roof space, um, on the walls, um, so it's like a blanket around the house really. Um, we're also going to be putting solar panels on the roof to generate heat and electricity. We're going to be putting a new boiler in, new radiators, um, and then we're going to be putting new appliances in the kitchen, so new fridges and freezers that are all um, A-rated, energy efficiency wise, to make sure they use as little energy as possible. And Carl, you live here, um, what's it like at the moment then? Well, currently at the moment the house is freezing because of all the, the gaps and yeah, everything. Yeah. So when the work gets done, it's something to really look forward to. Yeah. Good, good. Similar trials are going on around London. In Camden they've tried a system for fitting insulation that only takes a day, so you don't even have to leave your home. They measure up the rooms with a laser, take these to a workshop where they cut the insulation balls to size and then, then bring them back at a convenient date to fit them in your home. With new technology like this and the green deal that the government are developing, we could finally crack the problems facing our complicated cold homes. But to roll this out to all homes in London, we still need the teams going door to door, street by street, helping people make sense of it all. I've been pressing the Mayor to save this programme, which is now under threat due to budget cuts. Already our local councils only managed to put forward enough money to reach 55,000 homes by 2012, just a quarter of the Mayor's target. Now the government might axe the agency that set it up, threatening over £7 million of crucial funding. I also want the Mayor and the government to ensure that everyone takes part. And that includes landlords who all too often 
leave their tenants shivering in poorly insulated homes. We actually need something like an MOT scheme for all homes. For example, we can make it illegal to let or sell a property if it didn't reach minimum energy efficiency standards. We could start off at ban G and then progressively raise the bar until every home was properly insulated. Whatever your ideas though, do get in touch. Should the Mayor be making this much more of a priority, I'd like to hear from you.